So this uh, orange region that I marked here is the thymus cortex and the positive selection is happening in this thymus, the cortex of the thymus, right? Now let's talk about the negative selection, okay? So the positive selection happens in the cortex, the negative selection happens in the medulla. So just like um, the orange region was the cortex, this purple region that I marked is the medulla. So in the medulla what happens? Um, the CD4 and the CD8 differentiation happens from the T helper O cell and we have our negative selection. And what exactly is negative selection? Negative selection it activates, active, actively eliminates cells which can show immune response to self proteins. So if they're showing that they're attacking self proteins, then those cells cannot pass through negative selection. This is a very strict process uh, of removing those uh, T lymphocytes, which uh, is going to attack self proteins. Now, once this differentiation happens, these T cells are now ready to leave the thymus and go to the lymph node. Okay, so it has moved from the thymus onto the lymph node. So we have, in the lymph node, we have our CD4 cells, okay? These are our CD4 cells, and we have our CD8 cells. The CD8 cells becomes our cytotoxic T cells, and the CD4 cells further differentiates into T helper 1 and T helper 2 cells. Now, what's important to understand here is that T helper 1 cell is going to uh, support our cell mediated immunity where T helper 2 cell is going to support humoral immunity. What does cell mediated and humoral really mean? Cell mediated meaning that they're going to go into the tissues and they're going to take care of business. Humoral means they're going to patrol the blood okay, and they're going to take care of any kind of antigens and microbes that's there. Depending on what kind of products they're spitting out really defines what kind of helper cells it is. For example, T helper 1 is secreting IL-2, TNF, and interferon gamma. Okay, And because it's spitting out these three substances, we're calling it T helper 1 cell. What about then what about T helper 2? What kind of substances is that uh, spitting out? It's spitting out IL-4, 5, 6, 10, 13, and TGF-beta. Okay? All right? So these are secreted by our T helper 2 cells. Now, there is more to the story than this. Whatever is made by T helper 1, so what is made by T helper 1? These are made by T helper 1. Is going to inhibit T helper 2 cells, okay? So this is going to inhibit uh, T helper 2 substances. And whatever is made by T helper 2 is going to inhibit our T helper 1. I'm going to write this in a fresh piece of uh, paper so that it's clear because this this is getting a little bit too confusing here so i have just rewritten the t helper 1 and t helper 2 and how they regulate each other t helper 1 products is going to inhibit uh, t helper 2 and t helper 2 products is going to inhibit t helper 1 okay now i'm going to add another layer to the story and that is t helper 1 is being made in the presence of an intracellular bacteria now, intracellular bacteria is really stimulating our T helper 1. But what about T helper 2? For T helper 2, it actually gets stimulated in the absence of T helper 1. Okay? When T helper 1 is not being proliferated by intracellular bacteria, that's when by default T helper 2 is being made. Now, why is T helper 2 being made by default? Because it's getting ready to protect the blood. It's creating interleukins like IL-4 which converts IgG to IgE it's creating IL-5 which is making IgA it's creating TGF-beta which has anti-inflammatory properties and 
IL-10 also has anti-inflammatory properties. So both of these have anti-inflammatory properties. Now, IL-10 and TGF-beta are also secreted by something else. And those are called a different class of um, T cells, called the T regulatory cells. The T regulatory cells is also going to produce IL-10 and TGF-beta. Are you still with me? Because it's getting a little busy here, right? So T helper 2, among many interleukins, is making IL-10 and TGF-beta. T regulatory also produces IL-10 and TGF-beta. And we know that IL-10 has anti-inflammatory anti property, right? Now, we can also safely say that the T regulatory cells also has anti-inflammatory property because it is secreting IL-10, obviously. But is that the only function of T regulatory cells? Not really. T regulatory cells also is responsible for regulating the production of all kinds of cells. Cytotoxic T cells, T helper 1 cells, and T helper 2 cells. So it regulates um, production and proliferation of all or uh, different all kinds of T cells. Now moving on with some other details is if IL-10 is anti-inflammatory or if it suppresses inflammation, what interleukin promotes inflammation? That is our IL-12. So now you must be wondering, who is really making IL-12? IL-12 are made by the macrophages. These macrophages that's making the IL-12 is also promoting the production of T helper 1 cells. So in other way, you can say that macrophage is uh, promoting inflammation because it's, it's secreting IL-12 which is making more T helper 1 cells, which is making more IL-2 interferon gamma and TNF beta. And IL-12 is also promoting inflammation. All that is kind of related, right? There is something else which also promotes the production of T helper 1 cell. And that is interferon gamma. Hmm, that's interesting. Because interferon gamma is also produced by T helper 1 cells, then T helper 1 cells is production of T helper 1 cells is promoted by interferon gamma as well. If interferon gamma is promoting T helper 1 cell, who is making this interferon gamma? Not T helper 1 cell. This interferon gamma is coming from the natural killer cells. Okay? As a result, we can also say that natural killer cells also promote inflammation because natural killer cells are stimulating interferon uh, is producing interferon gamma which is stimulating the conversion of T helper O to T helper 1 which is which is releasing IL-2 interferon gamma and TNF beta right so they're all linked to each other now is IL-12 the only thing that is being made by the macrophages no macrophages are also other interleukins and they are IL-1 6, 8, 12, right? 12. And TNF alpha. Okay, see how macrophages are making TNF alpha, right? But T helper 1 cells are making TNF beta. I'm just making similarities and differences between all the different structures. See, IL-6 was also produced by T helper 2 cells, right? And it's also produced by macrophages. So kind of memorizing these interleukins is kind of important so that you can navigate through questions really, really easily. And one last thing I wanted to talk about before ending this video is that the inhibition from T helper 2 to T helper 1 is not really achieved by all the interleukins. This is achieved by IL-4 and IL-10. Okay, and T helper 1 to T helper 2, this inhibition is uh, mediated by interferon gamma. So that was my interpretation of differentiation of T cells.